Hi, my name is Josh Gore. I'm a product designer, engineer, fabricator, and all-around enthusiast of all things mechanical. And today I'm making this video to share with you a project that I've been working on that I call the Funny Fork. The Funny Fork is a bicycle linkage suspension system, and uh, it was created as an experimental prototype that I hoped would be a platform for me to learn and understand how linkage or non-telescopic uh, suspension systems behaved. So without further ado, here's the Funny Fork. All right, so here are the first two Funny Forks, FF01, which is right here, and FF02. They were both constructed differently. Um, they both had different pivot locations in relation to the bars. Um, they both had uh, different tube lengths and different tube constructions and different bonding methods. Um, which allowed me to test different materials and different uh, construction techniques. Okay, so quick walkthrough of what the Funny Fork is and how it works. This is a leading link suspension system. Unlike a telescopic fork where the wheel travels along a wheel path defined by the telescopic mechanism, which is the tube within a tube, this uses a pivot location and the swing arm travels on an arc. This allows for different handling characteristics, different uh, suspension behavior, and different braking characteristics. But those are all dependent on the pivot's location, the brake link's location, and um, the axle's location in relation to all of those. In the future, I plan to make more videos explaining in depth why I've done what I've done here so far, why the design looks how it looks, and uh, what I was hoping to test with these different adjustments and these different mechanisms. For now, let's cut to some footage of riding on the trail, and I'll tell you a little bit about what that's like. So how does it ride? Well, that all depends on how it is set up. When the geometry is set up to be as similar to a telescopic fork as possible, then the handling and riding characteristics feel very familiar, with the primary difference being an improved small bump compliance and different brake dive characteristics. I'll get into more on that later in other videos. When moving outside the traditional setup, we can either grow the wheelbase through its movement or shrink it, and this is dependent upon the position of the pivot in relation to the axle. This change in wheelbase affects the bike's trail, which in turn changes the amount of self-centering in the front wheel. To understand this effect, imagine the wheels on an office chair as having the maximum amount of trail, and subsequently, the wheels align to whichever direction the steering center line is pointing. The funny fork design allows the testing of wheel pass resulting in increasing or decreasing amounts of trail, and subsequently increasing or decreasing amounts of self-centering forces. As the project progresses, I hope to better understand through feedback and data collection the effects of these handling characteristics and uh, whether they'll be beneficial uh, and in what applications. Okay, so what's next for the Funny Fork? Well, first off, it's got to get lighter. Second, it's got to get smaller. Third, I've got to build ASTM testing rigs to simulate um, traditional ASTM testing procedures um, and then fourth ride <laughs> continue to ride develop and share the content and uh, see what people have to say okay so that's a quick introduction to the funny fork a little bit of its history a little bit about where I'm going next um, so what I'd like from you guys is a little bit of feedback um, I'd like to know what you'd like to see where you'd like to see it go uh, Part of having this development process be public and be on YouTube is that I can know right away what you want and don't want, and the product can kind of be shaped and formed into uh, what the consumers demand. So although right now it's a rough prototype and there may never be a product here, um, there's a greater likelihood of that if you guys are leaving what you want in the comments and uh, contributing to the process. So, um, like and subscribe, you know, first video I'm saying that right away, and uh, 
yeah, head over to my website, joshgoreworks.com, fill out the questionnaire, and make sure to put in the comments as much detail as you can about what you're interested in about this project and uh, where, you, where you'd like to see it go. So thanks and uh, take it easy. Right on.